Hello everyone and happy new year. A brand new year, a brand new you, perhaps. Let's go ahead and toast to this brand new YouTube video starting right now. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel on this brand new year 2022. As you know, we had an amazing run in this past year, but we're not going to dwell too much on that because there is so much that we have planned for the future. We have some brand new collection room videos. We have some brand new updates to our display, some things that we're doing. All kinds of things are coming to the collection that I can't wait to share with you, but that will be due in another video. But we want to get in today about about something that can really help shape your collecting and also help shape your new year. And today we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic when it comes to hot toys collecting and just collecting in general. Are you collecting and is it a hobby or is it a habit? But before we get into that, if you've not done so already, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I would certainly appreciate it. As I said, there's all kinds of good things lined up for this year. So do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you know when new content does drop. And always, if you've not done so already in this video, go ahead and leave me a presumptive like. I would certainly appreciate that. Helps out with the algorithm. And leave me a comment down below to let me know that you are looking forward to 2022. And with that being said, if there are certain things that you want to see on this channel, please let me know down in the comments. But without further ado, let's get into this. Hot Toys collecting, collecting, statues, Black Series, Marvel Legends, whatever it may be. Is what you're doing a hobby or is it a habit? Now I'm going to be talking about specifically six scale and hot toys collecting because it's kind of geared towards the more adult collector. And I do want to talk about that, the difference between adult collecting and just kind of collecting as maybe a child would. And so we're going to maybe talk a little bit harshly when it comes to the idea of your collection being a hobby or a habit. I was recently on Reddit not too long ago. I love to get on there just to see what everybody else is up to. And I noticed a trend. There are so many people that are getting out of the hobby because of either they don't like the amount of the pricing increases, they don't like the delays, they don't like the fact that they didn't know what they were getting into. Whatever your reasoning may be, my goal today, when I'm not dressed like a Bond villain, is that I want you to enjoy your collecting. I want you to say, this is a hobby for me, it's not a habit. So we're gonna look at a couple things today to hopefully help you understand and kind of really focus it in what it is that you're actually doing. Are you collecting? Are you hoarding? Are you following the trends with FOMO? Or are you actually doing something that you like? And that is the whole point of today's video is to find out that is your Hot Toys collection or your collecting in general, is it a hobby or is it a habit? I know around this time of year, you're always waiting for the new thing, new figures to be released, new figures to be revealed. But when those figures are released and when they are revealed, why are you collecting them? Because if you haven't heard anything I'm getting ready to say today, I want you to understand this, is that adult collectors follow a plan and a purpose. Kids simply follow what feels good. Now, if you're a kid and you may be 13, 14 years old, this isn't a knock at you. This is simply saying that the average kid will follow emotions and let your emotions drive your decision making. But if you're an adult and you want to make responsible adult decisions, you make a plan and you follow a purpose. Too often in our hobby, we follow what everybody else is doing and not what you want to be doing. There's nothing I hate more than logging into Facebook, getting onto Reddit, and to see somebody saying, here's a brand new figure that literally just came out last week up for sale. Why is it up for sale? Is it because you did not properly budget for it? Is it something that you didn't really actually want? Because I know that when I get my figures in, I'm excited for these things because they are ones that I actually wanted. Now, I'll be the first to admit that there have been certainly times where I have followed the trend and simply got something because I thought it's what I really wanted because everybody else was talking about it. Only to get it in, I'd be like, you know what? I don't know if I have an emotional attachment to this. And I'll mark this down because I will certainly be coming back to it only buy things and only collect things to which you have an emotional investment. That should be the only reason that you are purchasing or collecting anything is if there is an emotional attachment to it. 
So as we go into this new year, as we start off 2022, I want you to do a hard look at yourself and think about the next time that you're getting ready to purchase something. When you have that itch to go and buy a new figure or pre-order something, why are you doing it? Is it simply because I haven't gotten anything in a while and you really just need to fill that hole? Or is it because, wow, here's a figure I've been looking forward to, it's finally available, I'm going to get it. What is your motivation to getting these figures? Is it because your favorite YouTuber, maybe even me, is it because your favorite YouTuber decided to say, hey, this is one you do not want to miss out on and you think that you can't miss out on it? Or do you have an emotional attachment to it? You should never be swayed simply because somebody on the internet said you need to think a certain way. That is the way that you always need to run your life Every decision you should make should be because of you, not because somebody else influenced you to do so. Because as I said, yes, adults follow a plan and a purpose. Think about 2022. Now that we're into this brand new year, look at the collections that you have. Look at what you have on pre-order. What do you have and why do you have that? What is the purpose for those pre-orders? I certainly know that when something becomes available, we rush to pre-order it because you don't want to miss out and you want to be in the queue and you can be say, you know what? Day one pre-order for me. But why is that? Why did you decide to pre-order that today? Is it because it's your favorite figure or because somebody else on a Facebook group said, hey, I need to get this and you want to make sure you can do it too. Now, if you remember, I sent out a meme on my Instagram story not too long ago saying, don't go broke trying to act like you're not broke for collectors who are broke. Now think about that. Is it the whole reason that you are trying to buy something is simply to try to keep up with everybody else that is getting it? That is poor planning and there is no purpose to that. You may say, wow, that's really harsh and I don't like the way you're coming at me. I feel like I'm being attacked. No, I'm trying to save you some frustration, trying to save you some non-refundable deposits of these figures that you really don't want in the first place. Because as I said, this needs to be a hobby. It's something you enjoy. The whole point of a hobby is going out and finding an escape, finding something that makes you feel good. If every month your credit card bill comes due and you see all the different pre-orders that you had or all the different withdrawals of figures that you have ordered and there is no reason for you to have that, then it is a habit. If you simply run to YouTube to see somebody's review and then you immediately click buy or pre-order, that is not a hobby, that is a habit. You're filling a void with something that doesn't need to be there. Because as I said, there is no point of buying anything that unless there is an emotional investment to it. I know so many times people go and say, oh, this is one you do not want to miss. This is a low production number on this figure. You will be regretting yourself trying to get this on the secondary market later on but there's no point for you to do that because you don't have no tie to that figure. And so many people will rush out and get that figure for the idea of reselling it. They wanna flip it. They're like, well, I will put my money into this and then you know, I'll be able to get maybe double my money back later on. As I've said before in multiple videos, if you have disposable income where you want to go and put it into something as an investment, invest in something that isn't plastic. This is not an investment opportunity. Yes, these are cool. Some of the times they do go up in value, but the main thing I can say is that collecting toys is not an investment opportunity. It is a hobby. And if you are simply buying things to flip it, there's no emotional investment in that. So why are you actually doing it? So without trying to beat a dead horse here, all I can say is that do not buy anything simply because somebody else bought it. Don't get something simply because you can say, oh man, look how much bigger my collection is, or Joe Schmo, or Freddie Frank went and got this figure and I need to have it too, because if I don't get it, they will not think that I am a serious collector. That should not be the way it is. Remember, this is your collection. It should be a hobby. It shouldn't be a habit. So let's do some inventory as we wrap up some things here today. Are you collecting because you want to grab these figures? Is there something that really draws you to it? Is it a favorite character? Is it a line that you say, you know, I want to keep this as my focus. I want to collect Star Wars. I want to collect Marvel. If that is the case, there should be no one influencing your decision when a DC figure drops and says, oh wow, you need to have this because there's no emotional investment to it. This does not need to be something that you stress out about. This should be something that brings you joy. When you go into your collection room, does it put a smile on your face 
Or does it bring you heartache knowing that you are in severe debt or that you are not attached to any of these things? I will admit there are some characters right in that detoff across the hall from me that I am not emotionally invested in. And I'm going to make sure that I remove them from my collection in 2022 because I simply followed the trend. I simply followed it because somebody said, ooh, you need to get this and you won't want to miss out. But I have no emotional attachment to it at all all. So collect what you want to collect. Not when someone else collects or what they say you need to collect. Get something that you care about. When someone comes over to see your collection and they say, oh wow, look at this figure. Tell me a little bit about it. You should be able to say, oh, I got this because this is my favorite character from my favorite movie. Let it never be said when someone stops by and say, oh wow, here's this figure. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Oh, I got that one because so-and-so on YouTube said I needed to get it. You don't want that. You don't want to be having regret going into this new year. Let it be said that you have figures that represent important cinematic moments in your life or your favorite comic book moments or characters that you grew up with that are finally in figure form. Because at the end of the day, this is your collection. Let it be yours and no one else's. As I said, we have some big plans for 2022. I cannot wait to share with you what I am doing here to my collection room. I'm actually looking right now at some things that are in front of me, some new displays. I kind of got into some statues recently. Can't wait to share that with you in another collection video coming soon. But as I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you are looking forward to collecting for you in 2022 and i will be seeing you and much much more in our next video